Hello everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your one and only favorite Las Vegas realtor, and I have her sidekick, Damien. Hi everybody. It's a little noisy out here, so I'm going to make this pretty brief. We're over here at Caprock at Ascension by Pulte Homes in the Peaks Village in Summerlin South. They have two move-in ready homes. This one's slated to close in December of this year. They just knocked off $150,000 and they have it listed at $1,999,610. This is the Victoria floor plan with the mid-century modern or exterior elevation. The Victoria has 4,530 square feet, five bedrooms, five and a half baths, and the four car garage. I do believe this one's a tandem garage. And then there's also a bedroom downstairs. And I love the door. There's something, oh, this is lot 57, just FYI. Okay. So, love this door, very modern. As you walk in, you're greeted by the very tall ceilings. And now this is prime example of what it would look like if you went with the builder grade options, okay? Looks like they went with the builder grade 12 by 12 tile as well as the builder grade carpeting. So this here is the dining room. They didn't even do any extra recessed lighting. And this is the den, but they did upgrade it to the French doors, the see-through French doors. That is an upgraded feature. And they did put at least some recessed lighting in this office. Can you open it? Sure. Um, it's important. See? And then it has a pre-wire for a ceiling fan. And then you have your cat six right here. So when you buy a new construction, they did go with the higher baseboards. I think that's seven inches. Um, I think it's important, your electrical package is one of the most important things. Um, I would have at least put two can lights or recessed lights, puck lights, whatever you want to call them, in this room right here. Um, before we get into the main house, uh, the garage is right here, so I thought we would just go ahead and go in the garage. This is that third car garage or fourth car garage, the single car garage, pretty simple basic garage. All right, so when you walk in, you do have a coat closet, very deep, as well as the nice, they did upgrade the stair rails, which is nice with the modern stair rails, but they have carpet everywhere. And you know, some people like carpet, right? Um, so it's funny how some upgrades they put in, some they didn't in this one. Let me do a quick pan. So they did have the, this is the gas fireplace, which is a little different than electric because the gas is more protruding out and where the electric is more in. Does that make sense? They did go, they did put some um, electrical outlet right there. And they went with the executive island, which you have the cabinet drawers or the cabinets underneath the island for storage purposes. People like having that. And they also extended the cabinets all the way to the end as well as to the ceiling. Um, let's see if these are soft close cabinets. They didn't do any backsplash. They did quartz countertops and soft close cabinets. Okay. Looks like they're missing the 60 inch wide signature refrigerator. And, but they do have the microwave here as well as the double oven with the six burners and they also have the upgraded appliance package with the Zapier uh, range hood. So this is going to open up yeah. the upgraded appliance package. We have a client that's buying in the point. I've sold in this community, love this community, and they did upgrade it with the uh, single basin stainless steel sink. And they also have here, which is a nice feature, is the trash cans, which people like. But this looks like the builder grade tile that comes with the community. And they did put some extra recess lighting in the dining room or the kitchen area with the pre-wire for a chandelier. And they also did the three pre-wires for the pendants. They have kind of like a butler's pantry right here, which is nice if you want to have your coffee hang out back here and not on the cabinets, as well as nice cabinets, soft clothes, 
and they have a very large pantry. And this goes out to that dining room right here. I love the windows though, those are very nice. Let's, I guess, go out to the backyard real quick. And they have the extra slider door right here, which is an upgraded feature. They did put extra recessed puck lights as well as two pre-wires for a ceiling fan. This leads to the downstairs bedroom. Decent size, pool size lot, very good size lot. You know, for Vegas, especially new construction, this is actually a very great lot, as well as the beautiful, beautiful Spring Mountain Range Mountains. So you can see the moon peeking out. So let's take a peek. Yeah, this is a great lot. Very deep. So back of the house has the balcony. And there's a gate on this side. So it looks like double gates is the standard trend. Maybe because there's two garages. Oh, that makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. On each side of the house. Price point too, it makes more sense to have two gates. True. This is where your AC is. Okay, great. Two gates. They have the barbecue stub right here. A lot of people like those barbecue stubs. So in the model, they have this one modeled with the flex space, a huge like next gen guest suite. This one is not the case. Um, so right here is the entry to the garage as well as a hall closet. And this is to the two car tandem garage, making it four cars. Normally if you had the, um, expanded it to the flex space expanded and you had that whole next gen suite, this would take it up. So you do have the pre plumb for a water softener as well as two tankless water heaters. So that's pretty cool that they have two tankless water heaters. Another added feature that they have in this garage is the side garage door, which is very nice to have. This is probably where you're gonna keep your trash cans. At least I know I will be keeping my trash cans right there. As well as they don't have EV plugs, but I'm sure one of these you could convert it into. That's your Rainbird. And then that's your main water line to the house. Nice finished garage with the thick baseboards. Then right here, you have a half bath. Now this is not gonna be ready to, until December, so that's why some features are not there, like lights are missing. And this is the full size bedroom. So you have a walk-in closet, and then you have a full bathroom and they did the upgraded shower with the bench and the low threshold. But to me, I think these are the generic builder grade tiles that come with the builder, right? When you buy. And then they did the cultured marble, which is a trend that Pulte does. And they did do the nice upgraded chocolate cabinets, which is nice. Decent sized bedroom. Uh, however, they did not do any of the extra recessed puck lights. They did, however, have a pre-wire for a ceiling fan. Those little things are the fire sprinklers. And then you have access to the backyard. So this is a great little mother-in-law guest suite, you know, people that are visiting or people that live with you. It has nice, easy access to the backyard. So now we're going to go upstairs. It's a nice and white kitchen, all right. This one has a very nice loft. As you walk up, this is like the same positioning as the Victoria over, no, no, never mind. I like, and then you have the nice loft. This is how the models position, I think, here in this community. A lot of people like this floor plan because I do believe most of the bedrooms have its own ensuite. So you have a nice walk-in closet 
as well as a decent sized bedroom. At least they did put pre-wire for ceiling fans in all the bedrooms. And it has its own ensuite. This one has the tub in it, again with the same tiles as downstairs. And these are the same tiles as downstairs. I think it's the builder grade tile that comes with the house. Then you have the nice laundry room. This is huge. I like that they did add the sink. Everyone loves having a sink in their laundry room. And they use the same white cabinets, soft close cabinets for a gas dryer and all this extra spacing. And they did a nice, this is called a Petrofina, which is similar to a quartz. And your smart panels right here. Then you have another bedroom. Oh, this looks like a linen closet. And they also have the cable right there. Decent sized bedroom, pre-wire for a ceiling fan, and a walk-in closet. Oh, wow. This is the only bathroom that I've seen upgraded. Love the honeycomb tile, the big format 12 by 24 tile stacked, and it has the bench. Very nice. This is actually the nicest one so far. I don't think I've seen the primary yet, so we'll see. And I love this loft. Only thing they're missing is Smurf tubing. They didn't put a Smurf tubing, so if you wanted to put a TV on the wall, I mean, you still can because there's an outlet right here, but they don't have the tubing. No big deal. You can get an electrician come out and do it. But I really love how big this balcony is with all the extra lighting and the pre-wire for a ceiling fan. And that's the primary bedroom right there. Look at, I mean, I think I would rather have the, these views than the city views. Because you get the mountains. Yeah, the, the mountains rocks. are beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then look how big that lot is. It's huge. Now, of course, you're going to have other two-story homes behind you, but I would imagine you're still going to have these mountain views, I think. Alrighty. Another linen closet. Okay, so this is the only bedroom that does not have its own attached bathroom. However, it does have a bathroom next to it. Love these large windows. I love how all the bedrooms have their own walk-in closet instead of those ugly closets they used to do. And again, they did the Builder grade generic quartz countertops with the builder grade tiles and builder grade tub. So this is an example of what you could get to save on cost if you don't want to spend the money on the additional upgrades because when you go to that design studio, that shit starts adding up and it starts costing a lot of money. Um, the nice feature is they do have this in the den area, the wet bar, you'll just need to do a little refrigerator. It has the sink in there, the bar sink, as well as the beautiful quartz countertops. And then this would be like your lounge area to hang out. And then here's the primary bedroom. Decent size, where they still didn't put extra recessed lighting or the pre-wire for the ceiling fan. But I love the baseboards. Love the color of these cabinets. Very large bathroom with the freestanding tub, the separate um, vanities with the beautiful quartz countertops, the undermount sinks. This must be the linen closet. Nice size linen closet, as well as the large shower. But again, <laughs> they did the rain head shower and they have the bench, but I think these are builder grade tiles. And it looks nice for just builder grade. Right? Um, look at that tub. That's huge. And of course, we're missing the mirrors. I do believe they must be LED mirrors because there's plugs in front of them. The it's LED, the, the lit ones, yeah. And then the throne room, as well as this large, decent sized closet. And I really like these um, shelving. It doesn't look very cheap. 
uh, compared to other builders that do the cheap wood holes. It's very nicely done. So to summarize, we're over here at the Peaks Village Caprock at Ascension by Pulte Homes, taking a tour of this move-in ready Victoria floor plan that is at 4,530 square feet, five bedrooms, five and a half baths, and a four car garage. Price right now is at $1,999,610. They have an additional $25,000 in savings. They want to close out by year's end. And if anyone ever watches my channel, what do I say? The best time to buy a new construction home is at the end of the year on moving ready homes because the builders are trying to make their year end numbers. And if you buy with me, I'm going to be able to strong arm them and more than likely get an even better deal than the listed price right now. So, awesome. right? That's right. And you've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen my own eyes. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I live and breathe new construction in Summerlin. I've sold in this community. I know this community. I know Pulte very well because I sell a lot of Pulte homes and they love me here, don't they? They do. They do. <laughs> but they can call me at? Call Angela at 702-370-5112. And we can tour this and get you a deal, folks. Make sure, most importantly, that you hit that like and subscribe button. See you on the flip side.